Hello, friends. There's a line in Swami Kriyananda's astral ascension ceremony, the funeral ceremony that we use uh, in memorial of someone who's passed away at Ananda or for others connected to someone at Ananda. And the line is, <clears throat> this is, this is, these are words that are addressed directly to the soul, the departed soul of the person who has passed away. And the sentence is, feast not your gaze wistfully on episodes already past, but look ahead. Fresh new adventures await you as you advance toward perfect freedom in God. I may be paraphrasing that last part, but the feast not your gaze wistfully on episodes already past is a very interesting one because in our lives it's very easy to feast our gaze wistfully, nostalgically on episodes that have gone by in our lives. Recently we were in a, a part of Northern California along the coast where I had built some homes decades ago. And I went and looked at a couple of them from a distance. And and it was just an interesting reminder of an era that was extremely adventurous for me personally and for our group who were working together. And looking now on those structures, I mean, they've They've aged well, like, you know, it's not like anything's fallen down. We did a good job. We, we worked hard and effectively and, uh, were, and carefully. Um, but at the same time, it was very interesting. I had this feeling, just a feeling, but it was very definite inside. And the feeling was, don't spend a long time here. In other words, don't sort of try to live back then. Because even though that those were wonderful days with full of adventure, full of uh, growth, full of joy, you can't live in the past. It's fine to acknowledge that wonderful things, wonderful periods, wonderful growth has happened in the past, but we would do well to hold that thought Feast not your gaze wistfully. I'm reminded of a a, a little passage or a little um, image from one of the Harry Potter books. I think it's the very first one. And there's a mirror. Harry Potter's going to magic school, and and he in some odd storage room, someplace that he manages to find his way into, he finds a mirror, and it's a very, and of course it's a magic mirror. And the magic mirror is magic in that whoever looks into it will see their heart's desire. They will sort of see that which they most want. Whether they're even consciously aware of it or not, that's what they will see. And Harry, who lost his parents in his infancy, sees mother and father on either side of him in this mirror. And, you know, of course, the instinct is to turn and look, you know, to see if they're really there. And, of course, they're not there, but he sees them there in the mirror. And apparently, I don't remember the name of the mirror, but apparently he gets warned that people have wasted away looking into that mirror because they're essentially looking at the past or they're looking at a, a, a potential a nostalgic potential that's not very real. It's it's just in the mirror. They're not doing anything to achieve it. And in his case, what he was trying to achieve isn't achievable in this world in the sense that he wasn't going to get his parents back in the flesh. And to just stare at that and, and sort of feel that warmth or that desire was not helpful to him. And in our lives, it's well to remember, we cannot live in the past, and of course, nor can we live in the future. But we can, it is legal, it is okay to 
look forward to the future with some degree of enthusiasm or some degree of anticipation, which helps us to live right now to help manifest that future. To live enthusiastically in the moment is to also live enthusiastically anticipating the future. And not that there's anything wrong with studying the past or learning from whatever we've gone through in the past, but just not to, you know, there's a reason why in the car, the rear view mirror is only about that big and the windshield is huge. Because we don't need to gaze into the rear view mirror in order to drive ahead in the car that we're driving. And if you spend too much, I remember very comical moment in a movie, there was a race across the country and immediately upon departure, one of the drivers reached up, grabbed the rear view mirror, broke it off the windshield and threw it out of the car and said, well, we won't be needing that anymore because he was planning to, you know, not ever look back, only look ahead. Well, I don't say that that's quite necessary in life, but it is helpful to just stay where we are, but looking at the road ahead of us and aware of where we're going. Pay attention to where we're going. Yes, learn from the past, but appreciate that life will always give us adventure and uh, new opportunities to grow towards perfection in God. Namaste.